Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 rounds out an untouchable trilogy within the MCU and once again showcases that James Gunn is today's king of the comics. Usually with these Marvel movies, you're begging the filmmakers to kill somebody off so that their sacrifice may provide some meaning or consequence for this never-ending Marvel story. Not so with Guardians, as every character is so adored and fun to be around that anytime they're in jeopardy, you're praying to the comic book gods that their life be spared because you can't imagine living in a cinematic universe without them. Speaking of which, which this story doesn't have any of that multiverse crap going on in it, so it's the first Marvel movie since Endgame that doesn't feel pointless because of this new thing we have going on where someone can die and then immediately come back because there are infinite variations of them in existence, therefore nothing really matters. Yes, Gamora is back due to the events of Endgame, but things aren't back to normal between her and Peter Quill. Her death still holds significance within this installment. But overall, this is the Rocket Raccoon story, and if you thought you liked him before, you will love him after this one. Go see it in theaters and have a good time.